Welcome to the Life Skills Programming, COVID style. <laughs> uh, today on Life Skills Programming, we're going to be uh, uh, darning a sock. See the sock? See that hole? It's kind of like unsightly. Um, you know, maybe if you're making a, a sock puppet, be good. But we want to actually wear the sock, so we're going to fix it. All right. So if you if you know how knitting is done, knitting is done, um, you know, knitting things together. Uh, so when they break apart, you can't really knit them back together. So what we do is uh, darning is like weaving, you know, uh, weaving. Um, so what we're going to do uh, now, the sock, the whole to 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 make it easier to darn. Uh, Get a, a softball or a baseball or if you have an orange or a, a, a grapefruit or something like that you can put it in the sock and then and then you can see there you got your hole there okay so i'm just gonna like change this camera level there so and then a darning needle here there's two kinds of darning needles this one has a point and we're going to use this point so that if we do go through some yarn, um, uh, it'll be, it won't rip it apart. It'll go through it and hopefully it'll keep it together. But the, the, the thing you got to remember about darning is that uh, darns don't last forever. And the bigger the hole, um, the harder it is to darn. And so that's where if you are dealing with, uh, if you're dealing with knits, the best thing to do is uh, is to fix a hole as soon as it as soon as it happens, right? So um, and uh, and so with these socks, I didn't follow that, so now I have a big hole. But I'm going to show you anyways because we're not going to give up on this sock just yet. Okay, so and you don't have to tie. When you're darning, you don't have to tie the, the thread. I'm just using like a embroidery thread. You can use other uh, yarn, depending like if you are darning a really nice garment, you know, something that's really nice, you might want to use the same color of uh, yarn just so you uh, kind of hide um, the repair job so it doesn't look so obvious. Um, I'm not that particular. However, um, when I do have some nice stuff, I do want to fix it so that it's nice. Depends on depends on what you want. So, with darning, you can see this hole here. It's like pretty wide in that. So we're not gonna. You would think that maybe you just sew these together, but that's not the case because I said the 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 knitting is not. They're not knots. They're just kind of uh, they're they're tangled kind of, or you know they're they're kind of woven or I don't know how to really explain it. But uh, but basically what we need to do is we need to start maybe uh, a couple rows over to the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to we're going to go up and down with the, the needle and uh, we're going to go all over here and then we're going to go up here and we're going to go down here creating a weave. Right. So we'll have thread going. Uh, vertically and then thread going horizontally and hopefully that should um, hold it together so we'll start here show you here so and then you just go in can you see that you just go in pull this and I did use different color thread just so that you could see what we're doing because it is kind of hard right and then you go down and you're just kind of like like i say you're just kind of weaving you're weaving the needle through the stitches that are already there and and you can see you can pull that right through so i don't know if you've ever like sewn a turkey it's not quite the same Especially if the turkey's alive. <laughs> okay. And then. Okay. 
So over here. Okay, and then when we get to the top there, if you see, okay, see? So you can see where it started. See there, it's kind of hard to see. You see it started there and ended there. Now I'm gonna go back this way, all the way to here again, and then I'm gonna keep going back and back and forth and whatever, right? You get the, you get the idea. But uh, the good thing about this is that it, it's kind of like, uh, knitting or doing anything like that where it is very meditative so you know you can kind of just sit maybe when you're watching tv or facebook live or whatever you're doing and uh and you can just uh fix your stuff and then you know when you fix your stuff then you can wear it again and use it and then you know i mean i don't know how many socks i've thrown out that have a hole in them but you know if i would have caught them when maybe when they were um not uh not so bad i might actually still have some of them and it just i think it just saves money in the future you know and uh you know it's like because you could have a really nice pair of anything like in after actually after i do this there should be some time and i'm going to show you some uh some hand stitching repairs as well um we'll see if we get through this sock we should uh but yeah it's uh it's important uh to to take care of the things that you you have right it's kind of like uh if you have tools or anything you know you want to you want to make sure that you keep them in good shape because you know uh, things cost money and we all know that there's only there's not so much there's not there's not enough money to go around and uh there's no if, if all it takes is is uh is you just repairing some things when you when when the when holes exist or when they break, then you can save a lot of money and preserve a lot of things. But I think a lot of things go to waste these days because people just don't maintain them. And, uh, and that's not good. Because if you think in the, in the past, right, people, when people had to make their own clothes and stuff, it was a lot easier to darn a sock or a sweater than it was to like uh, fleece a, an animal and spin wool and then you know knit something right so that's why it's really important to do this because you know we we may not see the importance so much now because uh because we just go to the store and buy something new and, and whatever but you know we we come from a place that 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 didn't experience those luxuries and quite possibly in the future we will live in a place that doesn't have those luxuries so this is why this is important and uh you know if you it's kind of like um you know with your home as well right like if if uh if there's a leak somewhere or something you notice something wrong uh it's good to get it f addressed right addressing problems when they when they arise is one of the best things you can do right like take anything for for example right i mean i'm not going to give too many examples because go on forever uh, see that you see that you see that it's hard for me to see these computer screens aren't as clear as real live action So it's like I say before, it's best to address these sooner than later. And that's because then you don't, you don't have to rely on the darning job to, to keep the, the garment or the hole together. But see, as I'm pulling it tighter, the hole is getting smaller. So keep that in mind that you want to, uh, you want to, as you're putting this together, you want to kind of have it all come back together. Because that's all about it. It's just about keeping it together, right? 
keeping it real, fixing the problem before it becomes a bigger problem, before it becomes a problem that you can't fix. Now, a lot of the time, uh, I've, I've discovered that these holes that, that come about from like a knit socks or whatever, a lot of the time it's actually uh, because, well, you know, like you're wearing your socks and you're, you're putting, you know, there's friction, right? When you're wearing socks and your shoes, there's friction. Now, uh, um, as well, uh, knits wool especially like woolen talking about wools um so okay i'm just gonna actually take this ball out and show you the status here but um when you're when you're when you're washing knits you don't want to felt them when you felt the fibers uh don't become strong anymore uh, these fibers are when they're loose loose like in a in a ball of yarn um they they have little uh teeth kind of thing right and so they catch on to each other and that's how you hold wool together like because wool fibers are tiny right but you spin them together and they're all kind of woven together and then that way that they create a strength right but that strength is only there when there's that little bit of space between them because when they're too close together they don't have the same action as when there's that little bit of space so when you wash stuff and you you um and you 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 like for example, I, it's more, more so putting in the dryer, but any kind of like wool stuff like this, I will wash by hand um, and then air dry, not put in the dryer because that air drying will, will deteriorate them. Um, anyways, so now I've gotten, you can see that it's kind of like, it's not, not a bad job, right? But now I'm going to go this the other way and that should make it stronger, okay? Now, I don't know how long, you know, I might only get maybe another wear these a few more times, you know, I don't know, uh, before I have to nar darn them again or, or whatnot. But the, the fact is that, uh, like I was saying, that the sooner that you fix something or address a problem, then, then the, the problem seems to be not so bad. Um, so I'm not going to have great expectations. Uh, with this sock but at least I have a sock now so then when you're going the other way you just uh, not only you, you kind of want you want to go and weave in and out of the the stuff that you just did so I'm gonna put the ball back in there I mean, I could probably could have got away with just a regular baseball, but that's all right. In a perfect world, we wouldn't have these problems. But in a perfect world, I wouldn't have let this sock get to be such a bad state of affairs. So quiet, I almost feel like we need background music or something. The world's smallest violin, maybe? <laughs>
Now, I just want to mention that this is not the best darn job in the world. It's not a darn good job or a good darn job. <laughs> but it, it's working, I think. I don't even know. It's hard to say. You know, I, I, I often feel like I have this problem where I work so much and I don't have time to mend my clothes. So luckily I get to bring my clothes to mend into work. <laughs> and share. It's a great feeling. It's like uh, the best feeling. Well, with regards to like mending clothes goes. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going back forward a bit more here. Just, I mean, like I say, it's not a perfect job, but I just wanted to demonstrate what, what you need to do um, so that you can put your good skills to work later for your stuff. And uh, some people will darn and you won't even notice that they darn. However, that usually happens when the hole is really small like it just happened so but you know it's uh it's a relatively cheap activity to do and most likely you always have some kind of like hole to repair or something like that so and it's a good activity you can get the whole family involved you know they can either go and get all their clothes that need repair Kind of dump it in your lap or you can like uh, teach them and everybody can repair their clothes together you know depends on what's going on Whew. All right, I'm almost done here. So that's exciting. All right, let's see what we got, all right? Uh, look at I can't put my finger through there so this is like if you look it's kind of hard to see with that camera but see there so I mean I was starting with like a really big hole and it, it's kind of a gash as far as knitting holes go um, but that's together now it's not gonna fall apart and you know if I just needed this to get home I think I would get home with with the sock intact so so thank you for watching the darning part of this program. Uh, we're going to go on to uh, mending holes in pockets. That can be a problem, especially when you put your money in your pocket and it falls out. Not cool. So uh, these pants here, they're kind of old, but uh, I've got holes. You can see holes in the pocket there. And it looks like I, I fixed these before. You can see 
see the, the, the repair jobs there before. So, you know, it's just kind of this constant, it's like this never-ending battle of just repairs and, and whatnot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this light color thread. Oops. What is that? Oh, all this stuff. All right, so. And I'm going to get some needles. There we go. Got these like uh, fancy, fancy needles, like it's like a fam. This must be a family pack or something. There's like 800 of them. So I'm gonna get one. Let's take one of these guys out. I don't know. I'm I'm sure there's better needles for some things, but I have. Uh, I have yet to discover uh, all the uses for all the needles. Okay. So. Okay, so now with hand stitching, if you have uh, not had experience hand stitching, uh, there's different ways to do different things. So um, what I do is I, I to, to, to tie, I just wrap it around my finger and then I just lift that open a bit, see, and then fold it, oops, loop it underneath here, and then loop it again, and then one more time. And then I'll pull my finger out, and then I pull this circle down. I, I guess I want to keep this knot as close to the bottom as possible, just to, to not waste thread, but there you go. You can see that, you see that little, it's hard to see, right? Anyways. Um, okay, so with hand stitching, uh, let's see here. So this fabric is kind of like, I know it seems kind of like uh, it's being worn out quite a bit. But what I'm going to do here, because this this hole here, if you see this hole, let me see, this hole here, right, is pretty close to the the edge. See, so rather than I'm just kind of kind of sew it right through rather than sew it to the other piece and and that way uh, you know it'll I think it'll be stronger just because it'll have more fabric to uh, to hold up okay so and with this I'm just gonna do like a straight stitch so like through here see that I come up here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right back behind this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you can see here I'm just gonna loop I'm gonna put this needle through the uh, the thread there just to to latch it right just so it's kind of locked that's I guess the kind of what they would call it is a lock stitch I believe, but anyway, so it's locked there. See, look at, pull it tight. It's nice and tight. Okay. So now I'm just going to hold this. Let's see here. Let me see if I can... There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to go through. And like I say, I'm just going to do a simple, simple stitch, straight stitch.
Okay. So. All right, so I've gone down, look at my stitching. Okay. Very, very uniform, haha, <laughs> LOL. So now I'm just gonna go back the way I came, just to reinforce it, so. Um, because I, you know, I'm, I'm here now, and I might as well do a better job than then not such a good job because then I, I probably won't have to come and redo this. Okay, so I'm just going to put my hand in here and see what, oh, that's pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good. So I think that's sufficient for, for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and just tie this off as well um, right here. And then, uh, and then it should be, okay, actually, I think I need to mess that up. Hold on a second. Then we just take these ends and then I'll make a knot. Do one more for good luck because we all need a bit of good luck, don't we? Some more than others. That one is this good luck one is taking more patience, but you know, patience is a virtue. Anyways, that's probably not the best job, but hey, you know, it works. So, hey, yeah, repaired. Nice, eh? Wow. Okay, so we've done that one. I have a few more holes. I've got a few more holes in uh, these, but, you know, that we don't have all day to sit here and, and repair all my little holes that I left, you know? So, what we're going to do now, ugh, this is the exciting part. That wasn't all exciting already. <laughs> so here, look at these, look at these holes. So I'm like one of these people who, uh, you know, rather than hem their pants, I'll just roll them up. But then, you know, rolling and then you get holes. And like now with this one, I put my, put my pant leg on and my foot goes through here and it's just a big pain in the butt. So I'm just gonna cut this part off and hem it. Perfect, right? So. You can see here, um, I have this, this big hole, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, to hem, I mean, because I have this hole here, I'm not going to worry about, um, you know, putting this on and measuring it. Normally you would put it on and then you would measure where you want the hem so that they're not, uh, like so that the pant bottom is not too high or too low, right? Um, and hemming is, I mean, there's any kind of alteration shop, whatever, that's a lot of what they do because when you buy a pair of pants, not everybody is the, the size that the pants were made, you know? Um, 
and uh, so and especially you know like say uh, everybody's different size sometimes uh, you know some people need bigger waists and the bigger waists come with longer legs when they manufacture clothing so you need to hem it down right uh, so anyways I've got my shears here and see you can see that perfectly okay so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna just like you know, I'm going to make sure that the bottom is fine and level. And then I'm going to, like, you can use a marker if you want. Maybe I will just to demonstrate. So I'm just going to make this marker here. There. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to cut. Okay. Sometimes your scissors aren't sharp and they won't cut what you want. And this is denim and denim's pretty thick. So it's probably best to just cut one layer at a time rather than try and cut both together. Okay, and then it's there and cut the bottom. Oh. All right, there we go. Now I've got my bottom. So what I want to do is I'm going to just uh, flip this inside out. Okay. So I got my inside out there, okay? Now, and I'm gonna line up the, the edges where the hems are. See the hems? There's two of them, right? So I'm gonna line them up because that will give me, uh, that's where I want, I don't want to, that's where I wanna use as a starting point anyway. So you see that, okay? There you go, okay. So now I'm gonna fold this over like that, okay? Now that should be fine normally, right? However, um, if you look at this, see see this thread here? This will begin to fray. So, and it'll begin to fray when I put in the wash and, and these other fibers get loose and then it'll start to fray. And then, so if I just sew it straight stitch, right? That'll work, but it'll fray. So what I'm gonna do, which fraying, you know, looks cool too, right? You might wanna, you might wanna just keep it frayed. So anyways, I'm gonna fold it over. And then what I'm gonna to do to stop a fray, just to show you, is I'm gonna fold it over again. Okay, now like fold it in inside so that so that I'm I'm putting this inside here, and then I'm gonna sew this like this. So see how that frayed part is inside, and then therefore it, it won't have the ability to fray so easily, right? Now, uh, ideally, you want to do this with, um, uh, you want to have a, a, an iron, because then that way you can iron it down and make sure and really make your, uh, your edge, you know, you make it really crease your edges. And that really helps. So, um, so what we're going to do, though, here is I don't, I didn't have enough time to get a, all the, the, the iron and ironing board and whatever. Not everybody has an iron or an iron board, so we can't all just. I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like you need all these things to accomplish this stuff when you don't actually need to. So, uh, the other thing we will use, though, if I can find them here, is. Oh, here they are, right in front of me. <laughs> is is pins? Probably seen these before, all different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to pin this like this for now. Okay, and then just so we don't lose the quantity there. And then as I fold it in, I'm going to repin it 
but I'm just going to put these pins in now just to tack it. It's just like tacking it together. Okay. So. Okay. So see there? It's all tacked together like that. Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to. So that other side's tacked. And I'm going to fold this under there. So And then I'm going to retack it. There. And then I'm going to fold this over. And then you just got to watch on the sides. But let's, uh, let's tack this side here. And then we'll worry about the edge when we get there. So try and make it uniform. It, it'll, it'll be a lot nicer that way. And it'll look better. Um, so we have that. And then we'll flip this over. And we will fold this over now. Okay. And then you see that? And then we're just gonna fold this side over a little bit. Maybe we'll put a pin there as well. Just to make sure that when we sew it, that it stays together because we don't want it to go out of place when we're sewing it. Okay. And then just be careful with the pins. I always seem to stab myself over and over and over again. <laughs> it might just be a constant reminder that I'm I'm still alive. And to to be happy about that. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. We're all prepped and ready to go. This is uh, exciting times, huh? All right. I have the sewing machine here. Now, you could easily do this by hand, uh, but I just want to demonstrate with the sewing machine. And hopefully, I don't break it. Sewing machine. Because. Uh, not all sewing machines are created equally. So, so I'm going to start here. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So, I'm going to start. Let's start here. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do a straight stitch with this as well. So I just set up my uh, my thing to do straight stitch, and I'm going to make it a little lengthy because this is denim, and I don't we don't really need a, a really uh, tight uh, tight sewing job per se. Uh, but I'm just going to take my time too because um, it is denim, right? And you don't want to you don't want to over you don't want to uh, you don't want to break your needle. You don't want to do anything detrimental. So now I'm just sewing on this top, the top edge there. I'm going to sew that. So the bottom, I'm not going to sew the bottom part. So it might open up, um, might come around, whatever. But you're just, uh, you can, you can sew many times just to keep it more flat. But that's like I say, if you, if you iron it. It usually uh, makes a nice crisp seam or a crisp, a crisp edge, and then it's it, it maybe sh uh, holds the shape more. But. Okay, and then just make sure that you uh, you 
remove the, the needle or the pins because you don't want to sew your pins. But generally you can, can usually sew over pins depending on how they're placed. Some people put them this way and then you can sew over them or pull them out. Like I say though, just be careful. Like I've got this pin looking at me and I'm where my thumb is. So I just have to be careful. And then you have to be careful too that you're not sewing both edges, like you're not sewing your jean hole, your jean leg closed. You know, that may be not what you're going for. Ouch. You can come out and then just with your other hands with sewing. I mean, this is a whole other thing, sewing on the machine, but just want to take your time. It's a machine, right? So it's not designed to do it for you. You are an integral part of this machine when you're operating it. So how you feed the machine is how it's going to eat, so to speak, right? And what it's going to produce. So it has everything to do with how you set it up and how much time and patience you take and, and what care you put into what you're doing. So just, in other words, be careful when you're using a machine. But they can, uh, they can be quite a benefit because they can really uh, accelerate your ability to, uh, to do, uh, make garments, repair things, anything like that. Right? Okay, now I'm getting towards uh, where I began. And so when I get to where I began, I'm going to go maybe a half an inch or an inch past where I started. And then I'm going to press reverse and go backwards. And that's going to lock everything in so that there's no fraying and, and whatnot. Or like the, or the, the stitching that I'm doing is not going to come apart so easily anymore. Okay, so I'm at where I began. Now I'm just going to go, like I say, like an inch forward. And then I'm going to go an inch back. And then I can go an inch forward and then an inch back. And then I think we're good. Okay. And then you open that up and make sure to cut your threads. These are shears for cutting fabric. They're not the best for cutting thread. But anyways all right this is the moment we've all been waiting for look at that beautiful hem you know perfect and then now i guess i might as well make this other one because we have a little bit of time so what i'm going to do now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can kind of guesstimate based on what you've already done. However, you have to keep in mind that you fold it over this fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this other side here and I'm gonna take this old piece and I'm gonna put it on there because that's the original piece there. And uh, I'm gonna line that up nicely, take my Sharp, trusted Sharpie, and make my other line. Voila. Okay. 
And then we're going to cut again. Oh, that one's going better. I got both, both sides of the fabric. They're cutting very well. Oh, there we go. And now we're going to go and do Do this. Like I could have washed these jeans before I fixed them. I don't even know what that is. Okay, and we're going to pin this. Remember, we've already done this, right? So this is, uh, this should be quite easy. We are, we just did this, so. Do that. And this will demonstrate how actually quick, quick it is to do this, you know, once you're all set up and whatever, you know what you're doing. A lot of the time, these things just, most of the time is just in before we do it, you know, like sewing. It's like, you know, oh, I, I meant to do that and I don't know. And then once you do it, you're like, man, I spent more time uh, not doing it than it took me to do it in the first place. So. So that's why when you make things, when you set things up to be simple, they're they're just easy to accomplish. But this is a great skill to have if you don't have this skill, because like I say, there's a lot of shops that offer this service. But you know that's something that you can either do for yourself, or or you could do if you be, if you did it, you could do it for friends, family, whatever. You know, it's a good it's a good thing to have. And. Uh, and who doesn't love getting their, their jeans hemmed, you know? Unless they just, like, want to wear bell bottoms or whatever. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this the quick and easy way. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to try doing the sides here. Just because, I don't know. I want to see how it'll turn out if I don't. And then maybe we'll we'll see. Some people, it really depends. You know, everybody's different. And so uh, it really just depends. Actually, I think I am going to be because I see this corner here. It just keeps wanting to unfold. And that's exactly why we pin it. So. I will put a pin. Actually, no, we won't. I'm going to just hold it. So indecisive. But I am going to start on the, the corner there. Ow. Ow. I keep hurting myself. Okay. Almost there, almost there.
Now there is a bit of a fray here, so when I get there, I'm going to kind of zigzag a little bit, but I'm going to maybe do that after. I'll do that after I finish this one and show you what you can do there. Oh, see, that's where when you're not careful, you break the needle. And I just broke the needle. So. And that needle broke because I was going over the hem and the hem is really big and, and whatnot. But anyways. Attention staff, can you... Okay, hold on. I'm going to resume. All right, well, that's that, and I got my thing there. Luckily, the, the needle broke after I was finished. So, look at my jeans, beautiful. From, from this to this. And we got our sock, and we got our pocket of our shirt, or pants, whatever. Anyways. Thank you very much for joining the Life Skills team, and I wish you all the best in your mending adventures.